ask Tom on home show. Rosina from Houston has a question about cracked crowns. She does. She noticed these, Tom. This, these cracks here that she has in her home, and then she noticed these up on the crown. Oh, I thought molding. I was talking about her teeth with her crown. No, okay, no. go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, no, this is not home show now. dentist pros. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Long so, <laughs> right. show. And then these cracks up here. I mean, we had these mm -hmm. in our house for a long time. So, Rosina, I feel your pain. But she says, I have some gaps in my crown molding, my trim, my baseboard. The house was built in 2015. It's four stories. And I want to know, how can I fix this? Do I need to get a painting company to come and do a caulking job or what, Tom? So maybe let's start with what's causing it and what the solution is. Yeah, what's causing it is simple, and this used to happen to me all the time. Uh, it's just the quality of the caulk. That's all it is. I, I want you to think you have foundation problems. A four-story home is going to move, so you're always going to get movement. But what happens when you get a new home in five years is basically, or six years is somewhat of a new home. When, you know, It starts to dry out and across grains and stuff, especially crown mold, you'll start to see the horizontal cracks and stuff because the caulking that's used, usually in new construction, is painter's caulk. What happens is, is you hire a painter to paint the house and they have a certain amount of money and they have to supply their own caulk. A builder doesn't want to go around buying caulk. So they just buy the cheap painter's caulk. It hardens up after a while and it starts to show cracks just because the molding itself will shrink up a little bit with air conditioning and dry times and things of that nature. It got to a point where I used to uh, buy the caulk for my painters and I used a product at the time and it's still available in some areas called Big Stretch. This was expensive. It probably cost me, you know, an extra $300 but it was worth every penny because it, it, I didn't get any more callbacks about this. And so my clients are happy. I was happy. And, and quite frankly, they paid for it out of their budget anyway. They just didn't realize I was upgrading the caulk package on the job. And everybody was good. So the answer to your question is this. You just need to have a painter come in. You could get Rudy's quality painting. Rudy would do it. They'll go through the whole house. They'll use a high-quality caulking. He knows what it is because he's not in the new construction end for that part. He's into... Uh, making people's homes like yours, you know, in a better quality paint, paint job, caulking, everything. What they do is just professional and excellent. And that's what you need to have someone come through and do that. But not a serious problem, totally cosmetic, not an issue to lose one bit of sleep over. All right, good. All right, you got a question? Tom can help you out. Go visit our website. Click on the Ask Tom button. Fill out the form. Send it in. You, by the way, we, we welcome video questions. If you want to take your phone and film it and send it to us, that's great. If you want to write to us, you can still attach a picture. That's even better. Whatever works for you, we want to work for you and give you a good answer and help everybody else. That's why we've done hundreds and hundreds of these videos. And I'm, not, I'm just saying, there's a lot of them. And you find them all on our YouTube channel, the Home Show Radio YouTube channel. And, and I was told by the kids out in the digital department to tell you that when you watch them, click the thumbs up. We appreciate that or share them because when you do that, this algorithm thing that, that determines what can be seen makes ours easier to see. All right. So that's that's our geek moment for today. By the way, you can find them on Facebook, too. Did I do a good job? Did I explain it good? All right. And you find them yeah. at home. And you can use any color emoji you want. Just a thumbs up. Yeah. Or just oh, go that's watch. That's the thing I was watching on the news. I don't know. Yellow, yeah, whatever. Or just go watch them on homeshowradio.com. <laughs>